not all rip currents look or behave the same. A scientific study identifies 10 different types, classifying them into three main categories, hydrodynamically controlled rips. These rips are short-lived and change location quickly. They form on beaches with uniform shorelines and are driven mostly by wave and current interactions. Shear instability rips are triggered by strong longshore currents that become unstable. Flash rips, on the other hand, appear suddenly when these currents are weak or absent, forming eddies that pulse water offshore. Bathymetrically controlled rips. These rips tend to form at consistent spots, guided by variations in underwater topography. Channel rips develop in deeper troughs where waves break less. Focused rips occur where offshore sandbars or reefs bend the waves, concentrating their energy at specific points along the coast. Boundary-controlled rips. These form next to hard edges like headlands, jetties or rocks. Shadow rips happen on the sheltered side of the structure, where fewer waves break. Deflection rips appear on the opposite side, created by currents bouncing off the boundary. But in many cases, some rip currents are hybrids, driven by several forces at once. Channel flash rips form where small underwater channels interact with shifting currents. Focus channel rips combine bathymetric features with variable wave breaking. Boundary channel rips form where solid structures have carved a permanent trench, blending topography and current deflection. Embayed cellular rips. Finally, on pocket beaches enclosed by headlands, large looping rip currents, known as cellular rips, dominate the entire embayment. Their formation is shaped by the bay's width, wave direction and boundary effects and they can grow especially strong during storms. Save this for later and follow for more Lifeguard Pro tips. Did you know as a lifeguard, 